everybody. Welcome to my first ever Facebook Live party. Um, it is just about six o'clock. We're gonna wait just a few minutes before I get started. Um, so if you've logged on, please make a comment uh, so I know that you you can see me, you can hear me, um, and just let me know before we do that. So hope everybody is staying warm. I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty darn tired of this cold weather. So, so this is the first time I'm trying this. So I'm going to be anxious for your feedback to know if we should continue doing some of these kinds of things. And if so, what kinds of things would you like to see? My focus tonight is going to be on the second release celebration items that uh, were released a couple of weeks ago. So I am um, uh, using those in, in the projects that I'm doing tonight. So still waiting for folks to come on board. I know that there was quite a bit of interest, so I appreciate that. And if you're on my team, I will be going live on our team Facebook page to do the drawing for the challenge. So that will come after we're done with this. So. Priscilla Kalikowski. Hey, Sissy. Norma Bricky. Norma. Rosanna. Rosanna. Scott. Excellent. Okay. So we will um, turn the camera around in just a minute. We'll just give us another quick little minute. All right. I'm really excited about this. I've not done anything like this. And there's a lot to it, so I have a, uh, several projects that I'm going to show. So I have a lot of product out here, so I'm, I'm hoping it's organized enough so that it, I don't get everybody confused, including myself. Gloria so. Pollock. Hi, so Gloria. Hi, Susan. Nice to see you. <laughs> Good to see you, too. Well, I can't see you, but <laughs> <laughs> thanks for logging on. Priscilla says, hi, Susan. So excited to see the new embossing folder. Oh, it's wonderful. It really is. It's so pretty. Lisa Solis Brown is watching now. Lisa. Lisa and I are going to uh, the, the uh, cruise to Greece. I can't wait to see you and Jackie. So much fun. Okay, I'm going to turn uh, my phone. And, uh, yeah, so it's going to be a little slow. <laughs> so Angie is here, and she's my tech person. So Hello. I am going to, uh, we're trying to keep things so that you can see everything here. Okay. And we don't get dizzy. And we don't get dizzy. Yep. All right, so the first thing I want to point out is, um, as I mentioned, this is a Facebook Live party, so um, I'm doing a mystery hostess event. So if you order $50, then you will be entered into a drawing for all the Stampin' Rewards products. So there we go. All right. And she's making a few little adjustments here. So um, it, the best way to place the order, though, is to go on to my website and use this hostess code. Because if you don't use the hostess code, I can't put you in the drawing. So, because uh, this, this kind of uh, combines all of the orders into one event. So that's the purpose of the hostess code. So there, then again, or there again, my website is susanlacroix.stampinup.net, and there is the hostess code. And we will be posting this on the website, too. All right, so let's talk about the second release items. So two weeks ago, Stampin' Up! released um, three new items for celebration. This is a level two item and is probably, oh my gosh, I just love all of these second release. Painted Seasons, this is a bundle that includes the stamp set, which is a distinctive stamp set. So it, um, it's like two-step stamping, but you only stamp once, if that makes sense. So it's just so pretty. And then the coordinating paper comes with it. So you've got um, paper for, for all four seasons and some pretty background, you know, just some um, more generic um, designs on that. So this is the bundle. So I'm going to move this out of the way somewhere. Lisa says, yay, and Jackie says hello, and she loves you. <laughs> oh, Jackie, I love you too. <laughs> Hope you had a great birthday. All right, so the next thing is this country floral embossing folder, and it is just gorgeous. Uh, you know, it's, it's a dynamic embossing folder, so it is very, it has a lot of depth to it. And there's, a, I've been playing, I've been having some fun. So I hope you can see it um, with the berry burst paper underneath there. But this is a level one. Okay, so now we're going to move on to 
the other level one stamp set, which is all adorned. Hey, Jerry. I can't read that far. So <laughs> she's giving me <laughs> messages and questions and comments. So thank you. Um, so All Adorned is the other level one stamp set. And this works really, really well with the Stamparatus. And I'm going to show you that today. So, all right. If you place an order, I've made up a set of cards. So everybody who orders $50 or more will receive from me a little set of note cards using the designer series paper and some ribbon. And I gotta slide it over a little bit, there we go. And I've also decorated the envelopes. So every $50 order, well, you'll get a set of note cards. Isn't that cute? I like them, okay. Jerry says, hey Susan and Angie. Hello Jerry. Hello Jerry. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, before I forget, let's not get started yet. So um, Stampin' Up! announced um, a special for March. And what they're doing, and I think it's kind of cool, it's called Celebration Coordination. And the products that they're offering for uh, starting today through the end of March all coordinate with the, the first release celebration items. So I'm going to flip this over this way. Okay. <laughs> so um, there's a stamp set called More Than Words. And um, it, it's meant to coordinate with um, the stamp sets in Celebration, which I forgot to order, so I can't even show it to you. Um, the, the next four items all coordinate with um, the, um, some of the stamp sets in Level 1. <laughs> what, you want me to move it up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's giving me hand signals. <laughs> Um, so there's a set of framelits that coordinate with the Lily framelits, uh, Call Me Cupcakes, Call Me Cupcake, uh, Hop Around, the little frogs, and then the one that coordinates with Painted Seasons is the Four Seasons framelits. So you've got all kinds of things, and I really like that you're getting more than one, so you can stamp several images at once and die cut them all at once. So I think that's, that's really fun. And then the last thing that's available through the month, month of March is the story label, which kind of coordinates with um, the sizes of the greetings. So that's a lot of fun, too. So those are the items that are available from today through the end of March. So if you have some of the, the, the first release items, you can certainly supplement and um, add some of these to your order tonight. And then, just to confuse us, <clears throat> just this morning, Stampin' Up! released a third release of Celebration items. So these are, with the exception of the first item, these are from the annual catalog. So there aren't larger images, so I'm going to kind of go slow here, and I hope you can oh, go down. Okay. So um, while the Painted Season Bundle is a level two, uh, through this third release, which is effective now, through the end of March, through the end of celebration, is you can you can get another pack of the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper. You can also get a Share What You Love embellishment kit from the annual catalog, the Scattered Sequins Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder, the Mini Pizza Boxes, Pearlized Doilies, and you would get two packages. This, these are all level ones, so you would get two packages of the Pearlized Doilies, two spools of the Rich Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon, a pack of the Petal Promenade Designer Series paper, and the delightfully detailed laser cut specialty paper. So you can get all those for free with a $50 order. All right. So. Pam Charney joined us. Hi, Pam Charney. Are you still up north? <laughs> all right. So let's get started. I'm going to move some of this stuff off my table, so just bear with me. Bring in a bin. You know, I like my bins. So the first um, project I'm going to show you, we're going to use the Stamparatus. Oops, let me get some of this stuff here. So, so this is the card I'm going to show you. So we're using Lemon Lime Twist and some gold foil paper and some white paper. All right, well. Pam says, hey, Pam, or 
Jerry says, hey, Pam, thanks for the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm getting out my Stamparatus here. And um, just a little, let me just plug this bag real quick. So if you have a Stamparatus, uh, we have a wonderful bag that you can use to carry them. And I'm going to see if I can open this a little bit so you can kind of see the inside. But there are a lot of pockets that you can store some of your extra supplies in. So this is available for purchase. So one more look at it. Oh, I lost a magnet there. Ooh, All right. Wow. <laughs> All right. So what I did was I went ahead and um, uh, stamped the first um, set of images here, this little medallion image. I have to move this up here a little bit. All right. And um, what I did when I put my cardstock in here and figured out where my first layer was going. Um, I put some little tick marks in the corners just to kind of line things up. So what I did was once I got that one done, then I laid this stamp on top of it to figure out where I wanted it. So that's just going to go right in here too. All right, so I'm going to show you the step method. Let me get my second magnet on here. I'm using Pacific Point for the second color. And you'll notice that the images go off the cardstock because it's a, it's a larger medallion image. So what I'm going to do, and I know I should have something under that, but I have stuff there. So all right, so I'm going to ink this one up. And then um, to do the stair step, I'm going to take this off. I love this about this device, this toy. It, I'm going to move it down two notches. And then I'm going to stamp this up again. Thanks, Ange. And then bring it over and stamp the second image. And then move it down to once one more time. And stamp that third one. I'm gonna have to move my magnet, I think. I'm so proud of myself, I haven't broken my magnets yet. <laughs> okay. All right, so there we go. So I'm gonna take my magnets off. And move this out of the way. Thanks, Ange. All right, so this is what we've got to work with. So the next thing that I'm going to do is um, take my embossing buddy. I really like that as well. And we're going to emboss. And so I'm going to put some, like, little, I don't know, links from a chain. And I'm just going to stamp this here. I hope my head's not in the way of the camera. Just a little bit. It's okay. And then I'm taking my greeting. You are pretty much the best ever. Thank you. <laughs> you all are pretty much the best ever. All right, let's hopefully, hopefully I can stamp that straight. Get this out of the way. Thank you. And I use uh, dollar store coffee filters for my embossing powder. So I'm just gonna dump some of this on here. All right, awesome. Well, not the best stamping, but close enough. And then what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and prepped one so that it's all done. So I'm going to hand this off to Ange because I don't want to spill embossing powder everywhere. All right, so, um, so once you have it embossed, now we're ready to kind of assemble our card. And I have found... Um, that I really like using, as most of you know by now, the multi-purpose glue. Because it's very forgiving, and you have a minute or two, or a few seconds anyway, to kind of smoosh it around your card base and line it up. Gloria said, very pretty card. I love the colors. So oh, cool. thanks, Gloria. And Jerry says, hello, Ruben and Bella. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you'll probably hear them in the background. All right, so same thing. I'm just adding this to the gold foil. And there we have it. Done. So, a lot of fun. Okay, and just going to remove those. Put this back over here. And this out of the way. And this out of the way. Oh, this one has um, unembossed powder. Thanks. All right, so the next project we're going to do 
we're going to use our framelits from the March special. And this is the card we're going to do for this one. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. <laughs> All right, so a, a Whisper White Thick card base. Our matte layer is going to be Granny Apple Green. And then we're going to use another piece of just the white. And then I have a strip of white, too, which you probably can't see. My colors are Melon Mambo, Mango Melody, and Granny Apple Green. Okay. And then uh, I've got some of our stamps and our greeting. And that'll be good for now. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put these back in the bin for the moment, is I'm going to stamp um, one Melon Mamba flower. Pretend that I got that on decently straight. And then cleaning my stamp real quick. Actually, that wasn't very well stamped, but that's okay because I have some done already. And a mango. I haven't used much of this mango. What do you guys think about the mango? I'm giving it a lot of love lately. There we go. So I'm done. Oh, nope, I need these. And then a couple of leaves. My sweater is going on the stamp. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have ink on a lot of things. All right. So I'll put this over here. So once I have these, and I would take these and my framelits over to the Big Shot and die cut them. But I have them done. So you're not watching me race back and forth. So I'm going to pull out a Mango Melody. Susan Crooks Jones is watching. Oh, Susan, I haven't seen you in so <laughs> long. How are things? And Priscilla says, so pretty. Aw, thanks. Okay, so now I'm going to take my white piece and do some other stamping on here. I'm going to slide that out of the way. So this one has the melon mambo, I think, right? Nope, this has the, uh, okay, it has the mango first. So I'm going to just stamp kind of wherever. Gloria says she likes it, but she hasn't used it a lot. Oh, yeah. I hadn't either until today, so, um, or until this card. And actually, I used it on another card, too. Um, so I'm starting to use it a little bit more. It just kind of reminds me of warmth and sunshine, and I'm so darn sick of this cold and dra drab colors that, um, all right, that I um, wanted some bright, something that kind of reminded me of warmth. Okay, so I'm done with that. I think the more I can get out of the way, the better. All right, so let's make sure I'm stamping this upside down. So I'm gonna, while I've got this out, I'm gonna grab our greeting and stick it on here. I know, Ange, you got this right <laughs> your way. And I'm just gonna throw some, some leaves on here. Uh, let's see, where do I want this? Well, I didn't leave myself a whole lot of room. Okay, you'll get the idea. Okay. These are the So now we'll take our card base and kind of do the same thing. Again, I'm using the, you know what, I need a bone folder. Make sure I have a better crease here. So Gloria, I need to ask, how is the weather in St. Joe? I saw some photos of uh, the beach and uh, the ice and the water crashing up over. All right. So we're going to put this on. We're going to put this on. I don't think this is very straight, so just please forgive me for that. And then take some dimensionals and get some of our flowers. And what I tend to do is put, um, oops, I put a little snail and stick my leaves on the back here before I put my dimensionals on. Priscilla would like to know what the name of the stamp set is. Oh, this is Painted Seasons. This is part of the uh, bundle of the second release. 
I'm going to stick this here. So Ann's just going to try to walk over and get that for you. So this is the Painted Seasons stamp set that coordinates with that delicious designer series paper. So there's acorns and there's leaves and there's flowers and there's succu a succulent flower. So all kinds of fun stuff. All right, so let me get this leaf on. There she is. She's showing it to you real quick. Mm, Anna. <laughs> she called herself Anna. Uh, all right, so then we're going to stick these on. Gloria says it's freezing. The ice is magnificent, but like you, I'm sick of the cold. I'm so glad you did a bright card. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. All right, so I'm, I won't take the time to do it now, but then I just took some of our faceted gems and our um, lovely new tool and put some in the center of each one mm -hmm. just to add a little sparkle. So there's that one. All right, now I'm going to move this one out of the way. Thank you, Ange. I'm going to give you the magnets, too, yeah. because um, don't want to I don't want to. Oh, careful. I haven't broken them yet. Okay, um, so this next one is using the embossing powder. I'd like to say I saved the best for last, but I can't say it because I really, really like all of these. So the card that I'm going to show you has disappeared. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not sure where it went. But we're going to, well, it'll be a surprise then. <laughs> I can't seem to find the sample. So again, Whisper White um, cardstock, uh, some Highland Heather, and I went ahead and pre-embossed uh, Friend on the bottom. Oh, there it is, okay. So there's the card that I'm making now. So I know, ooh, ah. Diana Ichoa says, hi, Susan. Hi, Diana. We haven't seen you for a while. We have to get together and play. All right, so I'm going to take a piece of, um, uh, I need the um, embossed piece. Yeah, there is it. We started playing with this, so anyway. All right, so I, am, I took a piece of Whisper White and embossed it with a country floral. And I'm not gonna color this whole thing, um, but I'm just gonna show you how easy it is. I um, just pick some light colors, pineapple punch and um, all the light colors, Highland Heather, light pumpkin pie, light uh, old olive. And what I really like using these is that they, it just kind of glides on. And so I just kind of start with the outline and usually I use the fine tip to do the outline. And then I just start kind of burnishing the color on here. It's going to be hard for me to see at this angle, but you kind of get the idea. Like I said, I'm not going to do all of it, um, but you, you know, you get the idea and it just is just uh, keep doing it. Just pick the colors you want. And then when you have it all done, there's another one I have done. So we'll move this one out of the way. Um, and because I don't use snail on, um, embossed pieces because um, it just doesn't hold real well, I don't think. So I either use tear and tape or my new favorite, the liquid. And which direction do we want to go? How about that way? I don't know that it matters much with this one. I have some fun things to show you. Uh, Angie and I were playing um, a little earlier um, and I'll show you some of the fun things that we kind of came up with. And I put my tool away, so I'll just use this. Here you go. Oh, thank you. How did it go? Um, Al just walked in and said, how did it go? So how's it going, gals? And Fred? <laughs> Diana says, pretty card, love that holder. Oh, okay, great. Okay, so put the pearls on here. We're going to glue it on here. And we have our card. So the longest this takes is just doing all the watercoloring. But it's kind of fun if you like to watercolor. Okay, let me show you a couple other things that I did with this embossing folder. Um, I took a piece of... Huh, I guess I didn't. 
<laughs> I used a brayer and the Merlot, uh, Mary Merlot ink. And um, what I did was, oh, thank you, is I um, just brayered it up, just inked it up, just, I don't know if you can see, brayer, 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 reloaded up, brayer, 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 and then very carefully put it inside the um, embossing folder, take it over to your Big Shot and run it through, and then you get something that kind of looks like this. So I was hoping for um, drama, so I went darker. Um, I've seen a lot of beautiful cards with lighter colors. I, I just thought this was pretty. So I just put a quick little happy birthday greeting on it and nothing else because I think the, the depth of the flowers um, is so pretty that it really didn't need anything else. So that is what you can do with this. Now there's some more things you can do. So let me just put some of these things in here. Diana said hello to Al. Jerry said it's going great, Al. Priscilla <laughs> said, so pretty, I have to have that one. It's going great, Al. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Okay, so um, I took the Versamark and inked up the uh, embossing folder and then sprinkled some copper embossing powder on it. These aren't made up into cards because literally we did these about an hour ago. So I just thought I wanted to see what it would look like if we did some different kinds of things. So that's the copper embossing powder. Then Ange took the embossing folder and she put Versamark on the debossed side. So instead of raised up, it's kind of sunk in. And so we used some grapefruit grove embossing powder along with some copper. So we just kind of sprinkled two different colors on there to get that kind of a look. And I think that's kind of different and kind of interesting. Diana said, what's the name of that folder? Cottage, no, Country Floral. <laughs> Country Floral, it's a level one, $50 order, you get it for free. And then we thought, let's do, go for some drama and let's do black and white. So I'm undecided about this one. So I'm curious what you guys think about black and white. You know what this would be pretty on is black foil paper on white or black. That might be kind of pretty. Huh. So, anyway, that is um, just some things that you can do with the country floral embossing folder. All right, let me show you some other cards that I made with the bundle. Let me get this out of the way. So this one I actually had, I think I posted this one, I'm not sure. So this is the, has got the designer paper with the, um, um, the mushrooms on there. And those of you who know me know I really don't like mushrooms, but I thought this was cute paper. So this pattern is the flip side of this. And this is Mango Melody, because it has Mango Melody and Poppy Parade in there. And I couldn't decide which one of these that I like better. So I posted um, kind of a this or that on my um, team Facebook page and asked them which one they like better, this or that. And it was pretty much split right down the middle. Um, some people really liked the mango, some like the designer series paper. So you'll have to tell me what you think. So Susan and Diane said they like the black and white. Oh, you do like the black and white, okay. I'll have to make up a card with that and see what it looks like. But anyway, so that is this card. And this is just basically, I just did triangles. And so this is the flip side of this. And so I didn't want it upside down. So I just created two cards. And these are the rectangle framelits that are in the Occasions catalog. And I am loving those. I'm loving all the different shapes and sizes and all that good stuff. All right, so this is this guy. And then here's this one. Okay, just move me and that's okay. <laughs> uh, so this one kind of coordinates with this paper. Oh, Diana said mango. Mango. She oh, likes the mango. you like the mango. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So there's this one, which I thought was really pretty. I think this is probably one of the first ones I did. And I took the soft suede blend, dark blend, the dark one, to color that faceted gem so that it kind of coordinates with the center of these. I'm not sure what kind of flower this is. Does anybody know? I have no idea. Is it a poppy? I, I don't know. Is it a poppy? I don't know. But, Maybe but, shake it a little just to see the sparkle there you go. of the gem. There you there. go. Da -da, da -da, da -da. All right, so that's that card. This one is a technique. Actually, Barb Hopper Price showed me this 
I'll bet you 10 or 12 years ago. And this is a real fun, easy little fold to do. Um, you take a, a piece of four by four designer series paper, you fold it on the diagonal, then you open it and fold it the opposite way on the diagonal. And then you fold them all towards the center and then take the points and fold them back. And you can put a little glue dot here if you don't want them sticking up or you can leave them kind of sticking up. So this is the succulent paper. And so I stamped the succulent with Call Me Clover on Lemon Lime Twist. And um, then I just added a little bit of uh, the powder pink just to kind of coordinate with what's in the paper. And then used this uh, leaf embossing folder and stamped especially for you. So a real easy, um, but a really kind of a wow card. All right, so there's that one. And then the last one, I know it's not Christmas and we all got done making all of our Christmas cards. Which way? Move over a little bit. Move over this one. But I just couldn't resist my, you know, just couldn't help myself, had to make a Christmas card. So a Merry Christmas with some of the pine cones and the holly berries and some of the evergreen leaves. And so that's kind of a fold that goes this way. And this little red piece just kind of, I, you know, um, scored it so it's a, under the white a little bit and just kind of flops over a little bit. So there's that card. And then the very first card that I made with the, the country floral embossing, I just did a whole, almost a whole page of that. And I incorporated, because of all the little dots in the background, I added some uh, polka dot tool. And then probably one of my favorite sayings from the Celebration Catalog is, here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. So there you go, ladies. I've, I've gotten it all done. This is awesome. You guys have been awesome. So again, go to my website, susanlacroix.stampinup.net. Use this hostess code and place your order. And I'll enter you in a drawing for Mystery Hostess. And those who order um, a minimum of $50, I will send you a set of the note cards. So do you have any questions for me before we sign off? That was fast. I was worried you were going to be with me all, all evening here. So this was nice. So questions for you while you're writing. Um, should we do more of these Facebook Live events? And if so, what would you like to see? Tonight I focused on... Sure. Tonight I focused on the second release celebration items. But um, certainly I can do other things too. So um, I just need to hear from you what you would like to see. Um, techniques or focusing on one or two stamp sets. Um, I know that very soon I'll be coming back from Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, not very soon. I can't wait to get the new annual catalog. So um, that'll start in early June, but I'll get it ahead of time. So Diana said, or Diane Ochoa says, thanks, Susan. Cheryl Eberhardt is watching now. Hi, Cheryl. Gloria Pollock says, thank you, Susan. Great job. And Jerry Holloway says, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Cheryl said, I'm late, but watching. <laughs> and Priscilla says, thanks, Susan. That was a great presentation. Oh, thank you, guys. I love you all. <laughs> all right, good night. Happy stamping.